Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to create the basic to-do application with React and to communicate with our backend API so we can create, delete, update our to-dos. And once this is over, we can wrap up everything and create our Electron app. Okay, the first thing I would like to do is go into my app.js and just delete everything from here. Okay, so we are going to have two components. One of them is for creating a new to-do, so add to-do. And the other one is to display the list of to-dos. To-do to -do list, that's the to-do list. I'm going to manage the state locally for all my to-dos, so let's create a constructor. Okay, and inside my state, I'll have this dot state equals um, to-dos, and it's gonna be an empty array. And I'm going to send to this to-do list my to-dos. I'm going to import, uh, let's just delete the logo in here. We're going to leave the CSS because we would like to design our application. I'm going to import Axios, so import Axios, Axios from Axios. And inside our component did mount, this is the first location I would like to uh, communicate with my API and fetch all my to-dos. I'm going to do axios not get. Um, I would like to store the API URL inside a const. So let's do API URL equals HTTP um, HTTPS. Uh, to do's api.dev slash to do's okay and in here I'm going to get this URL and once this is resolved we are going to get a response back response and here I'll do this dot set state for our to do's gonna be equal the response dot data dot to do's Okay, now let's create those two components. The first one is add to do.js, and the other is to do list. We'll import both of them. So import add to do, and same thing for to do list. Okay, so let's create our um, to-do list component. It should be fairly easy. We just need to loop through all our to-dos and just display each one of them inside a list item. Let's do import react from react. I'll create a function component because I, I don't need any functionality in here. No lifecycle methods, no nothing, just to render our to-do list. So export default function Let's call this one to do list. It will get a list of to do's. And I can go ahead and return UL. Now I would like to map through all our to do's. So to do's dot map. And each one I'll call it to do. And we can just go ahead and return directly a list item. This list item will have a key of to do dot id. Now, to render the, the content, I need to check if the to do is completed. And if it is, I would like to just like render a strike on it. So, if to do dot completed, completed, let's do a strike. And inside the strike, I'll render the to do dot content. And if it's not completed, I can just render the to do.content. I'll create a, a wrapper with two buttons in here. Uh, the first one is going to be for the complete, so class name complete. And on click, I would like to call a function that I will get from my parent. This one will be called complete to do's. We'll create complete to do, we'll create it in a moment. And on click, let's call complete to do with this to do dot id. 
Okay, same thing for the delete button. Create uh, class name delete and delete to do. This one we're also going to get from our parent. So let's make sure we have those two um, functions inside app.js. The first thing is delete to do. It's going to be this dot delete to do, and the other one is complete to do. Delete to do will get a to do ID. And we're going to do axios dot post to our API URL and then we're going to append delete to this one. And let's send the ID as the to do ID. And once this is resolved, we know that this to do is deleted. Now we can just um, loop and filter through our existing to do's so we can move out the one with this ID. Let's do a const to do's equals this dot state dot to do's dot filter. And for each to do, we'll return it if the to do dot ID is not equal the to do ID we you've deleted. And now we can just update the state. So this dot set state to do's. Now because this is the same key and value name, I can just write to do like this. I'll do another one for complete. So complete to do. It will get a to do ID. And we'll go into the complete endpoint in our API. And we're not going to filter them, but we're going to map through all of them and what we're going to do is say if the to do dot ID equals the to do ID that we have just updated the completed value for, we can do to do dot completed completed equals not to do dot completed. And now we can just return the to do. Now, since we've already made all the functionality for the API, the last thing we need to create, um, it's a function for creating new to-do. So let's call this one create to-do. It will get the content of the to-do, so content. And I would like to call axios.post to the API URL uh, with a content. Okay, so once it's done, we are going to get a response back with our new to do. I don't want to manipulate the state because this is just bad practice. I want to um, create or just clone it and create a new instance of it and just override the existing one. I'm going to use um, concat, array concat for this. So once we concat two arrays, um, you get a, a new instance of array back to you. Okay, I'll do const const to do's equals this dot state dot to do's dot concat and I would like to concatenate an array with the one item inside this is going to be the response dot data dot to do now I can just update the state so this dot set state <coughs> to do's mm -hmm. now let's work on the add to do component import react from react okay this one will have a class since we need to have a state for our um, input value so let's do class add to do extend component and we need to import component and inside our constructor, I'll create a very, very simple state. This dot state equals value, and this is going to be empty. Now, let's create a function to add a new to do. What it's going to do is call this dot props dot create to do. This is the function we've made in here. So we are going to pass it down to add to do. So create to do equals 
this dot create to do. So create to do, and we're going to send this function this dot state dot value. Then we would like to do this dot set state and empty our value back. I like to use single quotes in here, so I'll just change it. Let's create our render function. We'll return a div in here for the form. It's not going to be a form, but it's going to be a form like with an input and a button to create a new to do. Uh, let's give it a class name of create to do. And let's create an input type text. Uh, the value will be well this dot state dot value on change I'm going to get the event and do this dot set state for the value to be e dot target dot value And um, let's also add a placeholder. Let's call this <laughs> what should I do? Now let's make the button and give it a on click and it will go to this dot add and we need to bind this keyword to the add function so this dot add equals this dot and not bind this let's just put add in here I think we can already test it out in electron to do's is not defined in our in our app.js to do right it's this dot state not to do's and to do list the to do's is not defined so to do list to do's export default found in add to do okay so export we forgot to export the add to do so export default add to do Okay, what happened here? Let's go to our network tab. And we get a method. Okay, not found exception. I think we, okay, we have the wrong API endpoint. So this is slash API slash to do's. And now we got all of them. Now you will see over here that all our to do's are marked as completed which doesn't make any sense we can open up the to do's and preview them and see that some of them are not completed but the reason for that is because we get it as a string I would like to go back into my API and let's go into the to do model and let's make sure that we have a protected cast array that will cast our completed value to JSON now let's refresh everything and as you can see this one is not completed and this one and if you, now if you take a look at the value you'll see that now our values are coming correctly not as a string okay let's try to add a new to do so new to do add to do cannot read property to do's Okay, let's go back to our simple app and create to do this dot state dot to do's okay we forgot to bind all these functions so let's do first one is delete to do so this dot delete to do equals this bind this and we're going to do this for all three of them so complete to do same thing and create to do Okay, let's let's try it out now. New great to do add and it works. 
Now we forgot to add labels to our buttons. Let's go to um, to do list and let's do inside the completed let's say if to do dot completed I'll just add a minus and otherwise I'll create like a nice V in here and for this one let's just do X now that's why this one is completed right we get a 200 response same in here let's delete this one and this one awesome okay now we just need to give it a better styling because it because it looks <laughs> disgusting I'll go into my app.css and delete everything from here and just leave the app intro because I believe this is no I, I did not left the app intro just the app now I don't think you want to actually look at me designing everything I'll just fast forward the, the video and you can just pause and copy it if you want and you're also going to have it inside the github link. Okay, so let's see what we have. Okay, looking good. That's a new one. Let's mark this one completed. And delete. Awesome, now we just need to uh, build our Electron app and create the DMG. And I'll show you this one in the last episode. Thank you very, very much for watching. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section down below. Um, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.